Welcome back to Bear Download on ChicagoTribune.com. I'm Dan Weeder. We're joined by Rich Campbell here at the second to last day of training camp here in Bourbon A. Rich, the safety competition has been a storyline all camp. Now it's got another entrant into the mix and Chris Conti back. There's a lot to learn about where Chris Conti is physically, about where he is mentally, and about where he fits in this defense. What's your takeaway as he gets into this thing? Right, and I think the first thing we've noticed about Chris back on the field for two days of practice now is that he knows where to be, and that's his biggest advantage in this competition is the experience he has in this defense, the fact that he can come in and play fast. He obviously has to execute these assignments now, knows where to be, but can he take the proper angles? Can he get guys on the ground? Can he make plays on the ball? Those are things that will play out in preseason games, but at least in terms of assignments, he's going to catch up more quickly, quickly than a player who's coming in from the outside and has missed this much time. Obviously, Conti had a rough 2013 and ended in the very worst way. And obviously, the, to have the shoulder surgery in the offseason was another setback. And this is a guy who's been taking inventory on all the people who doubted him. His self-doubt is part of the equation here as well. Yeah. And so confidence is as big a part of this equation as anything as he goes forward and tries to, to get that starting job back that he's held for 40 games the last three years. Right, and, and what's going to help that is playmaking. We saw him with an interception today. He intercepted a very wobbly, underthrown Jordan Palmer pass. wasn't a great throw. It didn't require a great play, but at least he made it. He, he turned the ball over and, and you know, he even jogged out the full 100 yards yeah. for the return and ended up getting a cheer from the crowd. That can't Had hurt. feel good. Yeah, it, so it's going to come with playmaking. And, and talking to defensive coordinator Mel Tucker after practice today, they're not exactly sure if Conti's going to play in the second preseason game Thursday night against the Jaguars. We'll have to see, but eventually he's got to get back in the mix and start making some of these plays to really work back in. Yeah, and we've seen Brock Vereen work there. We've seen Danny McRae work there. They're trying to find answers, but I think the hope is that Chris Conti, at his full potential, is the best answer to start at free safety. They just need to see if he can reach that full potential. We'll see it, as you said, potentially Thursday against the Jaguars, if not the next week in Seattle, and, and it's a test to be had. Well, yeah, and they're going to keep rotating their safeties, and the competition's intense. We've seen it from Adrian Wilson, Brock Vereen. Like you mentioned, McCray is a player who has flashed in camp and is now working with the starting unit. So a lot to be sorted out over the yep. next couple of weeks. One more day of training camp left. Stay here at ChicagoTribune.com for all your coverage. For Rich Campbell, I'm Dan Weeder. We'll see you later.